Here I am on the 36th floor of Taipei 101 and I'm at the Gigabyte booth for the new launch of the 8086K, a 40th year anniversary CPU from Intel, which goes to all core five gigahertz out of the box. Of course, that's dependent on your motherboard, the VRM, the cooling, and especially on the CPU itself. So for pricing, we're looking around 399 and it will be available very soon hitting the streets. Though to celebrate this, Intel's giving away exactly the amount of the processor model itself. 8,086 of these will be available in a sweepstakes giveaway. So I'll put the link in the description below if you want a chance to win one, but it's only up for another 12 hours. So you do have to be quick if you want to get in with a chance to win one of these CPUs. But also on display here, we have from Gigabyte, some of their motherboards, some of them just come out with some new technologies and we're gonna see what's hot and what's not. Welcome back to Tech Yesterday, and here we have the 8086. Now, I did get a hands-on before on the showroom floor with this, and it was so easy to get to five gigahertz. Very fast CPU, pretty much the best in slot at the moment with six cores, 12 threads, and there's no eight core or Z370 announced quite yet. So this seems to be the one that a lot of people want to go to on the Intel side of things. And also from Gigabyte Stack, they now have Optane memory built in on three different SKUs of their motherboards, the Z370 Gaming 7 OP, the Ultra Gaming Y, Wi-Fi OP and also the Ultra Gaming 2.0 OP. So the OP is that extension on the motherboards, which means that there will be some Optane memory baked into the motherboards. So you don't have to go out and purchase that independently if you want to use that technology. So now some other awesome features coming out from Aorus and Gigabyte is also the Turbo B clock, which is a dedicated clock generated separate from the CPU itself, giving you more flexibility in terms of overclocking, traditionally like the base clock used to be. However, touching the base clock on a simple motherboard will make sure that your USB and your SSD and all that gets overclocked, so it's really pointless to go with a host clock higher than 100. But if you do that with a Turbo B clock, you've now got more flexibility on RAM and CPU, so you can just edge out that extra 20 megahertz for example, if you need to on the CPU side or on the memory side, if you find a sweet spot overclock on your memory at a certain voltage range, you can help do that with the Turbo B clock. Now also on the Gaming 7 OP, there is now direct heat pipes touching those MOSFETs to help cool things down better than ever before. So Gigabyte, tell me now, they're focusing on going all out and trying to be the best. So basically what that means is new and improved aesthetics, new and improved cooling on the heatsink, and also coming very soon, which is a very high priority, is to overhaul the BIOS and get that top notch. Anyway guys, that about wraps it up for the 8086K, a brand new CPU, the selected bin, the best of the best. It is the one you wanna get if you are into overclocking. We'll have a slight premium over the 8700K. However, with that, you can expect yourself to be getting five gigahertz on all cores out of the box. However, they still are using thermal paste between the die and also the IHS, so you may wish to delid this to get better performance. There's also some other coolers out there that can now directly touch the die and get incredible temperatures if that's what you're into. And also, make sure you get in with a chance to get one of these in the giveaway. It's really quick. Sweet stakes are there. I'm entering with a chance. I really want to win one of these things. And if you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to hit that like button. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Welcome back to Tech Yesterday. Here we got the 88, 80, 88, 6, 800. Welcome back to Tech Yesterday. Here we have the 8086. 80,